stuck on that same sand wash that Curry was stuck in. So it takes a lot of power to get up there. And, and if he's running the stock, he can't do much for power add-ons. So it could be hard for him to make it on up. But that would be great to see at least one stock challenger finish. Yeah, maybe Miles. Maybe you can get a good run on it and uh, one shot it so he can come onto the top and get to the finish. I'd love to see him here. Absolutely, Adam. That would be great to see a, a stock one finish because there's only been a few mods to finish so far, just a handful. So if we had one stock, that would be great to see. And like I said, we still haven't seen the UTVs, but they are getting closer. So we should see a whole lot of action at the finish line in the next 10 to 15 minutes, I'd hope. Because uh, I, I think it's mainly desert out there, so there shouldn't be too much to slow them down. And I'm peeking around the back side. I do see some dust stirring, so I think we do have another stock mod coming in, uh, or a modified, sorry. So hopefully he'll come through here shortly, and then there'll be somebody falling right on his tail. We'll see what happens. But I do see some dust turning back there, so there's just a few more small trails to come before he crosses that finish line. Yeah, Miles, that must have been a rough course out there today. There's been very few people come across the finish line, and I mean... From the look this morning when we were walking down, you know, when everybody's in line to start, it's amazing how many cars only finished and how many actually left here this morning. Wonder where all them cars are at. And he, uh, the, the, and that looks like the Jesse Haynes built rig coming in, the modified class. So uh, he's uh, coming in real hot in the short course, launching that yeah, thing. That's actually and Tom Jesse Beebe with Griffin Radiators is flagging him down as we speak. He made it through. So hopefully we'll get him up here and talk to him to see if he had any issues, how his run went, and uh, be uh, excited to see what he did. All right, well, we have Jesse Haynes here. Uh, Jesse, uh, tell us a little bit about how the course was, and you're actually the fifth finisher, so how do you think about that? Uh, it was a long day, that's for sure. Um, I don't know, I, I don't feel too bad. The car's, the car's in rough shape. Uh, we About 10 miles into the race, well, for, I think from the start, one of the front bump stops wasn't working because it was, it was hammering pretty hard, and... Uh, about 10 miles into the race, we hit a little uh, little ditch, and it broke the front pinion in half. And so we were down for quite a while there. We drove to the first pit and swapped out a new third member. We were, I bet we lost at least an hour and a half to two hours right there. And then, uh, I don't know, things were going 
pretty good. And then the canyon before Chocolate Thunder, we lost reverse and ended up having to winch about four or five times throughout the race. So Right, so that means the co-driver's probably pretty tired sitting over there in the passenger seat. Well, Jesse, I've raced with you a long time, you know, and seen you do some incredible stuff in a We Rock event and rock crawlers and stuff like that. Anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, my crews worked really hard getting the transmission swapped out, getting the car ready, and unfortunately we've got to put another transmission in it tonight. But uh, <laughs> i, I got to say that I've never run these Maxxis DOT approved, well, non-sticky tires before, but and I was I was a little worried about it, but they were unbelievable. Like we one-shotted the the uh, waterfall and wrecking ball. I mean.